Alright, what is up guys? Um, so, today I'm just showing you, um, my audio didn't record on my, um, video, so I'm just gonna kinda do a little voiceover, um, it might not turn out as great as I wanted it to, but whatever, I need to get a video up. So here is Lord of the Rings Online. Gunnar already did a video of an introduction on what the characters look like and what characters you can make, so I'm kinda just showing you my characters, um, and then I'm, we're going to be playing my Fallen or fallen who is my champion um if you don't know what a champion is go look at gunner's video because you'll see all the classes and races that he has over there so um yeah i'm kind of just showing you around i'm probably talking here um but uh yeah that was gunner's video i had to close down my internet because um it would have lagged it the game more so yeah so here we are we are playing um Lord of the Rings Online. Um, this is a fun game that um, everybody should try out because the reason you should try it is because basically it's free. Um, it's free to play. You can buy premium, which is ten dollars a month, and you can buy Latro tokens, which are um, tokens you can use in the in-game store. Um, yeah, but it'd be silly to do all that because it's a free game and you can get all those stuff in the game if you actually work for it. So that's what me and Gunner are doing. Um, you can only have two characters max per um, area that you go in. We're in Vilia. Um, there's many areas you can go in um, that, y yes, you can just go wherever. But um, yeah, I'm kind of just sh uh, showing, oh, this is where my game froze um, because I entered the world. But um, uh, yes, my game is kind of laggy because my computer kind of sucks, to be honest. But, um, I like to game, and I like to record it, but if you guys don't like it, it's, it's fine. I like to do it, so that's whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of Wasp Gaming Society. The, um, it's five of us now that are, maybe a sixth, we don't know yet. But for right now, it's the five of us. Um, it's Gunner, Matthias, Joe, James, and me, Devin. So, yeah, what is up, guys? Welcome. Here's my first video. I'm very excited. Not going as planned, but it's whatever, you know. Um, sorry, the loading screen took forever, so that's why I'm just talking randomly. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, basically, the game, it's exactly like... Not exactly, but it's very similar to World of Warcraft. Um, that's what they kind of base it on um because world of warcraft is such a worldwide known game but i love this one because world of warcraft is great i will be honest it's fun it, it i had it for a while um it was, it was fun it was enjoyable i played all, all the time every night for hours <laughs> but um it the, it got too expensive to me i had, it got too expensive for me and so I looked for games, and we found Lord of the Rings Online. I was like, ooh, it's free, yes. At first, um, it was kind of skeptical because um, I, I'm not the best at these kind of games. But I found to really enjoy this game. Um, I'm what you can call a noob at the MMORPGs. Um, uh, yeah, I'm kind of a noob at these. Um, like tanking, for, you'll see me kind of do a little bit of um, damage in this video. I'll fight some people. I'm not the best, but I like to do it. So that's yeah, <laughs> basically. Um, but uh, yeah, like I'm I'm really starting to to get to know it, and I'm really starting to like it, and it's it's fun. I mean, it's I love it. It's enjoyable. Um, here is my horse. I'm on my horse right now. I think I. Yeah, I'm just showing off my guy, and then I see what level that person is. <clears throat> Here I explained um, what you can get in the game. Now, if you see me riding a horse, um, obviously I did not buy that horse because I would not have enough money by this level. They give you these presents. Um, each level, you get a present, and not each level, but let's say at level 5, they'll give you a present for level 9 and 10 and all that good jazz. So you'll get these random presents that have perks in them, such as protecting your armor, um, you know, just random perks that, like, uh, double XP for a couple hours, you know, all these perks that they'll give you in these presents, and you can attach them to your armor, or you can right-click them to activate them. 
Now, um, they're great, and at level 5 or 10, I'm not sure, they give you a horse that you get for 20, 20, how many hours is it? I don't know, I forgot how many hours, maybe it's 28 or 27 hours, but, um, yeah, they give you these, um, presents, and, um, you, once you activate them, let's, okay, see how I activated my horse? I have 7 hours left on my horse by this time that you're watching this. Um... So yeah, I have about yeah, I had about seven hours left, and um, you know, and then after that, you kind of just by that time, if you play nonstop, you'll probably have enough money to either um, buy a temporary horse or um, get the riding skill, which you can get in the Latro store, and um, buy a horse. Now the game itself. Um, so let's go to my minstrel character. I have a minstrel character named. Uh, arena and um, with this Mitchell character she's a healer and um, yeah it was fun I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest being a healer was actually kind of enjoyable but uh, I kind of want to try to champion just to see what kind of tanking ish looks like what it feels like um, get to know it a little bit but um, with my Mitchell character in the area that we had started the questing took forever I mean between levels 1 to about 6 or 7, the questing was like, oh my god. You had, like, like right now on my Mitchell character, I probably have like 30 plus quests right now that are just sitting there that I'm trying to knock down one by one. With my champion character, in this starting area, it's just 5 quests maybe max, 10 maybe max, you know. Um, it's it's really easy. You just go one by one. But with the minstrel character, it seemed like I was getting piled on with these quests. That it was crazy, and um, you know, I I won't I won't lie. It, it helped a lot because it leveled my character up. Like we've been playing this for about two days, and I'm already level 17, almost 18 on that character, and um, and I'm already almost level 12 on this character if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what level I forgot, but um, yeah. So it's it's just it's crazy. I mean. This, I I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too in depth with this, but um, yeah. So the game itself, like I was saying, it's it's really enjoyable. It's such a fun game for being free. And if you just are bored and you want something to do, even if you're not a video game gamer, I guess if you're not a video gamer or whatever. Oh God, I can't talk. If if even if you're just bored and you have a computer. I'm guessing you'll be able to run this game. Right now it's laggy because I'm using my screen recorder, you know. But seriously, this game, I I don't think it'll be laggy on some on all computers out there. So if you're bored and you want something to do, definitely download Steam and download Lord of the Rings Online because it is such a fun game. Okay, here here is where I show you where. Uh, oh, I had to get that quest. After this, I'll show you how you can break your leg in the game, which is always fun, right? Um, yes, from, yeah, I'll go down the stairs, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, you can break your leg. But in the game, if you jump from high height, um, on your horse, you can break your horse's leg. Um, you'll hear a snap, and then your horse will walk extremely slow. So, here, I'll show you. I think, I think I break it on this jump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, that guy runs, runs out of there. Okay. Oh, here's where I was changing some settings, because it was laggy. I forgot about this. So, yeah, um... For the time being, just chill out, chillax, except, yeah, I was just changing some settings because it was laggy, I don't know, I think it's still laggy after this, but whatever, so yeah, oh, there was a snap, and now a horse is walking extremely slow, look at it, slow motion running, but, uh, yeah, so, be careful that, me and Gunner have tried going down waterfalls that they have in the game just to see what will happen, and you die from high heights. So, um, make sure not to jump from a really, really high height. Because you, I'm guessing, you will die. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, it's a fun game. And, um, I would definitely suggest it to anybody who wants to play the game. Alright, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow.